Hello, friend Mormo here. I'm at Crazy Critters Crafts. You can see I'm about to take an art card class and uh, I'm really excited. It was kind of hard to get here. It's a ways away from my house and um, I drove past it at first, but then I found it and uh, I'm a little early, so I'm just gonna look around. So keep watching, keep watching. She's always here. Awesome. Yeah, she gets employee of the month every month. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, so welcome to Crazy Critter Crafts. Uh, of course, we do have the uh, maker space that we have available all the time where people can come in with their own materials to work on their own projects if they want a place to get away from you know kids or animals or just a place that they have a big open space to work on something yeah, uh, no worries I don't mind it okay um, but it's a really nice community resource that's what it's mainly focused towards being which is amazing Branson hasn't had one of those in a very long time um, so it's really really cool to be able to offer such a unique space yeah. with a ton of different people who have different specialties. So like, I'm the resident painter, but uh, Kara, one of the owners, she does mixed media. <laughs> Mike is our laser person. He works a lot on the CNC machine. Um, laser engraving has a lot of really cool stuff. Everything that you see behind me, like these are all laser engraved with the machines that we have going oh, on. Nice. And Kara specializes in prettying them up by using like foils, um, epoxy. She made most of the tumblers that are over here. Uh, this is a little retail area where people can come in and buy something. We've got a whole line of Dixie Bell paints, which is really good for um, you know, re revamping furniture, especially. Mm -hmm. They've got a really high quality line of paints. They've got resin for sale here. So there's all kinds of different like bits and baubles <laughs> that nice. people can buy, which is really, really cool. Good. Um, and then back here is a lot bigger than you think it would be from the outside. <laughs> this is the wood shop. So we've got, of course, the garage door open. They're working on some stuff out here. We also have the dual U-Haul usage, but it's really nice for people like me that spray paint a lot. Uh -huh. um, so on less rainy days, <laughs> but I've got a really big fan here that's really, really nice to keep that ventilation going while I'm out there, helps dry off the materials. I usually use the tables that are out there. I've stained quite a bit of the tables with the paint. But back here is the full service wood shop. We have a master woodworker. His name is Lewis. He is the coolest person alive. <laughs> and I I love to brag about him. I, I get on a little geeky tangent about him, but he's so, so cool. He is um, a retired older, elderly gentleman. Um, but he specializes in doing wagon construction. He is one oh, of the wow. last people, I think, alive that can make the wagon wheels uh, like they were, um, you know, just back, back in the olden days. <laughs> so he has a big project that he's working on right now to repurpose like an 1800 style wagon. But he does have a love and heart for geek culture. <laughs> nice. So he loves like the Renaissance fairs, the cosplay fairs, all of that. Um, He's got, like, all of this is stuff that he's made in here, which is amazing. It's just, there's such amazing detail work. I can grab one of these. So, like, this is, you know, one of the specialty wagons. Every single piece wow. he made. So, down from the dowels, the wheels, to the machinery, to the wagon piece. It's just, his craftsmanship is, I mean, it shows that he's been at this for a very long time. And he's very, very good at making those. That's awesome. Restart the laser soon. that. Yeah, no worries. I'm not showing the wagon stuff anymore. Yeah, I'm just I'm bragging about Lewis. Like huh. usual. He's and he's so so sweet. Like he is one of the sweetest guys that you'll ever meet. I just I love him so much. Um, but they've got so I'm I'm learning more about the wood shop. I'm starting to incorporate it into like my own art, but I don't know about all the tools back here. So the ones that I use most regularly is like this sanding bench that has a built-in ventilation system so so nice so you're not having to worry about sawdust getting up in your face it just all gets sucked down here there's a ton of different grit sandpaper um i know we have a band saw that's back there so that's really good for like the big chunks of logs that we'll get and i'll be able to paint on those nice. we have a belt sander some other stuff that I don't quite know what it is. Mike will be is so much better back here. He's, an, he's also a wood shop guy. Um, but right now, this is another one of the wheels that Lewis is working on. 
Awesome. So it's just, it's really, really cool just how precise he gets everything and he's, he's truly a master of his craft. It's really amazing. So I'll get you through here, watch out for his little corner right here. So he's got kind of like a couple other projects going on. Back there is a laser room. Um, I'll make sure that it's good for us to go in. We'll have to wear glasses, of course, um, before we're able to go in there just to protect your eyes, mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. But that is a full service laser room. It's really, really cool. I've been able to, actually, I cut one of the things that I had them do for me. So I have a mural over at Mocha's and Yells, and so they can do all things from like, you know, the big things that you've seen out front, like little tiny keychains that oh, have your own wow. little designs on them. So they've got a huge amount of things that they're able to do at this location. Uh, it's, it's really astounding. I've only been working with them, I think, from coming up on a little over a year now. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm still new blood. <laughs> but it's been really, really cool just seeing all the different craftsmanship that is done here and everyone has their own different specialty. We're able to input something. So like if someone wants a color scheme or something, they can usually come to me and I can be like, oh yeah, I think this color with this color would look really nice or this placement with this composition because I come from a fine arts background. But, you know, Mike has brought like, oh, we can elevate your art by doing, you know, maybe a light box behind it. I never would have thought about doing a light box with oh. like some of my art done. Um, back here is, it's mostly just uh, supplies <laughs> back here. So we've got all kinds of, you know, shirt sizes, uh, Kara's personal glitter wall. She is our glitter diva. Nice. <laughs> um, spray paints. Um, Tumblers that are gonna probably be going out for adoption. Looks like they have a little Taco Bell one right there. This is my little corner. Um, so I'm working on a display stand that has four different scenes on each side in my free time. And that's just a personal project. It's it's really silly, <laughs> but I like it. Um, and then my little craftsman toolbox that you know has all of my little supplies in it, which is really nice. Oh. But uh, the, aside from being a maker space for those who, you know, are either newer to the art world or they want to do a family gathering or a bachelorette party, birthday party, graduation parties are coming up. Um, we also offer, of course, the classes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so the classes are hosted over here. We now have a nice big long table set up. It can accommodate up to, I think, maximum is 16 people. We can bring another table in here just to extend it. Uh, 12 is the what you can comfortably fit at this table unless you want to get really, really snugly with everyone. Uh, but there is a variety of classes that are hosted here. There are tumbler making classes. There's resin classes. There is, uh, Mike just launched his laser, his one-on-one -on -one laser engraving class that he does. I saw you have paint your pet. Yes, I am the paint your pet person. Uh, up on the wall is actually examples of some of them that have been done both by staff here. Um, and then I have one person that has left theirs to just kind of come on working on their free time. All the paint pours are not mine, <laughs> but uh, so this is Julep. She's another shop, do shop dog. Mike did that one. We've got Katie did, who is another one of the owner's dogs. And so there's a ton of fun possibilities that you can do with Paint Your Pet. Obviously some people have done like pop colors, um, really, you know, fun, bright colors instead of the natural coloring. So I try and make it accessible for both people who are brand new to art, who have maybe never picked up a paintbrush, to people who are really used to painting. I get plenty of people who, you know, have a background in fine arts as well and they just want to think a little bit less because <laughs> I give them an outline on the canvas. So it's like a more advanced coloring book. <laughs> so that's that's one of my specialty classes here. Nice. Um, and it's been really, really fun. I've made a lot of friendships and I love seeing how everyone puts their own style on their painting. It's really, really cool. But yes, so there is a ton of different classes that are offered here. There's a ton of things that you can learn. So before coming here, I didn't know how to use a Cricut. I didn't know how to do any of that, <laughs> which sounds really wild, like now being where I am, where I'm a little more comfortable on the Cricut. Kara's the Cricut master, but um, now I'm more comfortable. I make stick, I can make stickers, which is really, really cool. It's a really nice way to brand yourself as an artist is being able to put your logo on stickers or get them into different shops or be able to sell them online like I do on Etsy. Definitely. So it's, it's a really good way to 
Figure out if you want to try something new without going out and buying the $300 machine. Find out you hate it and then never use it again. And then you also have people here that are able and willing to help you figure out how to do things. So like Kara taught me everything I knew how to do on the Cricut. There's still things I have to go to her for all the time <laughs> whenever it's, it's being finicky or like I'm not doing something correctly. So it's a really, really cool space where people are able to come and try out new kinds of art forms. And it's, there's a lot of focus on mixed media here as well. Like it's not That's what I'm hoping to learn is mixed yeah. media. So Kara is the mixed media expert. I'm learning a little bit more. Um, we also have Jade. She's about to go on a trip to Japan. <laughs> but Jade does the revamp a lamp class. So where you can upholster thrifted lamps or maybe a lamp that you have that just needs a little bit of extra panache <laughs> to it. And so there's a ton of mixed media options here. It's really, really cool all the different ideas that I've been fed with, just ways to elevate my art and take it to a new cool level has been really, really cool. And I think that's one of the, it's, this is one of the best resources that you have for local artists that I'm really hoping to get more of the word out nice. in the local space because, well, I'm also part of SNAP, like down in Hollister. Me too. Yeah, so they have a fantastic like fine arts, especially fine arts down there. And they have like, um, Julie, Julie Ann Zatina is one of my good friends, <laughs> and so she does like the social media down there, and she's amazing, she's been doing some of the mosaics, um, but we have stuff here that, you know, they can't do there, and stuff um, there that we can't do here, and so I love partnering up with her, and I think it's really important to work together in the art community, rather than a complete rivalry. Yeah. It's so important to lift each other up, um, because there's things that... I refer when people will come to me for commissions, oh, I don't know how to do that style, or that's not my specialty, but you know what? I know someone who can. Um, and so being able to give each other business is so, so important, I think, especially in such a small community. So that's, that's one of the most important things to me, and we love working with other businesses. We have a whole business card collection <laughs> up there. Uh, we have worked with the Brands and Humane Society, for a couple of fundraisers and they're amazing and super duper fun to work with and so this is just it's a fantastic community resource for a variety of reasons obviously there's different crafts that you can learn or you can come and have a nice quiet chill space that you have a you know a larger area to work at where some people might be stuck in like a dorm room or a studio apartment there's a ton of those around here here there's a larger space that you can just freely be around your people, <laughs> actually, you're the people who know the artist struggles. Um, is there any questions that you had? I, I've been talking for a little bit. <laughs> uh, I Here's think the, I'm good. What we use to cut the cards, I'm gonna have to pick up one of these for myself. But you can measure the cards and cut them on here. Okay, friends, so I'm back home and um, Crazy Critters Crafts was awesome. There's so much that can be done there. Um, I'm really gonna look into different ways to make merch for my business. You saw all the different things they do, laser engraving and cricket, and um, they do t-shirts and stuff. And so, and here's He-Man. He wants to be in the movie. Say hi, He-Man. Smell my hand, He-Man. I petted another cat tonight. Anyways, here's the two cards I made. They're okay, they're fine. Um, I'll list them tonight on eBay for 15 bucks a piece if anybody wants to buy them. And uh, I learned an important lesson about <clears throat> how to use a paper cutter. And they had an awesome paper cutting machine. They said you can buy them for about 10 bucks. 
and I kind of figured it out. I goofed up once trying to cut cards, but I think I could figure it out and then I could cut my own cards rather than buying the cards pre-cut and I think that would help. It would help me get different colors like you can see. These are on purple paper so they're a little different. The paper is not as thick as I would like. I would try and use a thicker paper. But um, it was a really great thing. The, that woman, Finn, was really helpful and we talked a lot about the local art scene and stuff. And uh, we're gonna connect on Facebook. I told her I still use Messenger. So if there's any events or anything, she could hit me up on Messenger. She said she's collecting all local artists on Facebook, so. I'll try and send her a friend request and everything. And uh, there was tons of supplies for me to use. I used paint pens for the first time and they came out great. And uh, everyone was super friendly. It was a great night. I'm gonna take my pills. I'm gonna take my, um, my uh, paliperidone and I'm gonna take an Ativan and just in case. And uh, it was a really great night though. I'm so glad I went. Um, I wish more people would have showed up. It's kind of sad that only one person showed up. Now I feel bad for recommending the class, but I think um, Finn, enjoyed art cards and I got to tell her a little bit about the business and stuff and uh, it was a great night thanks so much for watching please click the link in the description to check out my eBay store if you want a better look at the cards I have available and thanks so much